hands. Hembrug machine tools. I don't see a lot of them, but when I see them, they're in environments that are demanding precision machining. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, typically, the, these machines are, of course, turning machines, but we're more battling uh, grinding uh, applications, and that means temperature control, uh, high accuracy. So we've got the Micro Turn 300 here. Is, is, is there, can you talk to me about the other models um, and sizes of machines within the range? Yeah, the 300 is the entry level machine. We have a Microturn 100, uh, which has, can carry m many more options, different spindles, longer stroke, uh, tail stock. Uh, we even put in finishing heads, like tape finishing for uh, surface finish. So if I wanted a bigger machine with a bigger turning diameter, do you offer that as well? Yeah, we do. We go up to 680. That's quite sizable for hard turning and sort of micro machining. It is. Uh, so we have a special spindle that will carry a big load. And what makes these machines super precision then, Hans? What, what, what are the features behind the build of them that make them that good? To start with, it's the granite base which is a temperature stable material. It's got good uh, dampening properties uh, and it's a good uh, surface to uh, use as a reference to build a, a good machine. On top of that, we have the hydrostatic slides uh, with an oil bearing, so there's never any metal to metal contact, no stick slip, but also temperature controlled oil. So we get rid of any uh, temperature influence in the process and in the machine. Okay, so if you were to look at, let's say, 100, the top 100 machine tools turning centers for accuracy and precision, would this be in the top 10, top 5, top 2? Uh, I was hoping top 2 or 3, yes. But we really are that elite in terms of what we can deliver. Absolutely. And then a bit about where the machines are manufactured. Where do you build them? We built them in Haarlem, in Holland, close to Amsterdam. So an engineer could come from the UK and have a look and, uh, and maybe have a test run and put some components through you just to, to see what they can achieve? Definitely. I mean, it's not a black box we can sell. We always sell it with an application for a customer. So we have a, an application center where we have uh, five or six engineers who work out an application for a customer. And uh, yeah, we have to do trial runs. And if you were to, to suggest some kind of industries that you're or well, the types of parts that people are making that come to you, what, what might they be for? Um, we're strongest in hardened uh, parts at the moment, but originally it was a diamond turning machine. Uh, so for softer materials, high accuracy turning using diamond tools. Now, mainly it's used for finish hard turning, so that's turning in a grinding accuracy. Uh, what would that accuracy be? Depends on the application, of course. I mean, uh, the machine has certain high uh, specs, but you can't always achieve that in the part. So it depends on, on, on the part. But the repeatability of the axis is plus minus 0.1 micron. The spindle runout is 0.1 micron. So when you can hold the part and you have a stable tooling solution, uh, in some cases, these are also the accuracies that you will reach. And can you introduce multi-axis capability to this type of machine? Uh, well, no, it's, we, we don't have a, a sub-spindle or anything. Uh, because of the way we build the machines, that, that just wouldn't go, because we have a, a, a granite headstock for the spindle. If we would have a sub-spindle, we would want to have a granite headstock as well. So even milling function on the turret? We do have that, yes. So if I was looking for this type of precision in the UK, where, where, do, I, where do I go to buy one of these machines, Hans? Kyle Machine Tools is our partner in the UK market, and uh, they support, uh, they give first-line support to our customers, and, and, and we support them. Uh, Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time today, Hans. Okay. You're